This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with lesson four, multiplication patterns. Please have your homework page ready and let's begin. Here's an example of what we're gonna be doing on this page. A truck is loaded with 10 to the second power boxes of skateboards. Each box weighs 36 pounds. What is the total weight of the boxes? So I need to do 36 times 10 to the second. We can also say it 10 squared. So we need to figure out 10 squared, which is going to be 10 times 10, and then we'll put 36 times here. We're going to do a basic fact and do 36 times 1 times 1 equals 36, and then we're going to count our zeros. 1, 0, 2 zeros. So my answer is 3,600. Okay, let's take a look at the ones that you're going to do here. Find each product mentally. Take the first digit and think what is seven times five, that's the basic fact, and write down the basic fact. <coughs> After you write the basic fact, then count how many zeros we have. 70, here's one, two, three. So after you do your basic fact, you're going to put three zeros. You'll put a comma here. Okay, let's look at number two. Oh, I'm gonna do slightly. A little bit different here. We have 320 times 10 to the second power. 10 to the second power means 10 times 10. So I'll go ahead and figure out what 10 times 10 is, and that is 100. And now I'll do 320 times 100. Take 320 times 1. Your basic fact is 32. Then I'll count my zeros. Here's 1, 0, 2, 3. I'll need three zeros and then put my comma where it goes. All right, you're gonna do the rest of these. Remember when you have an exponent, that means you need to figure out, uh, figure out what that means first, like 10 times 10 times 10, here you'll have 10 times two, here you'll have 10 times 10 times 10, and then once you figure that part out, go ahead and multiply, uh, do your basic fact and multiply to get your answer. Okay, let's look at the back. To protect themselves from extreme hot or cold temperatures, American alligators dig burrows in the mud. Suppose there are 20 alligators, each with 50 feet of burrows. What is the total length of all the burrows? Okay, what I'm gonna do, this is the information I know, that there's 20 alligators and they each have 50 feet of burrows. Here is what I need to find out. What's the total length of all the burrows? <laughs> And since I'm doing all of the burrows and they're all the same, that means they are equal, which means I'm going to multiply. So I'll do 20 alligators times the 50 burrows to find out the length of all the burrows. Okay, go ahead and finish that one. Paulita reads an average of 20 pages each day. She has six days to read 10 to the second pages or 10 squared. Will she finish her reading in six days? Explain. Well, here's what we can do. We can figure out how much she reads, 20 pages times six. So we'll do 20 times six. And now she needs to read 10 to the second power in six days. So let's do 10 squared. Oh, you'll figure out that answer, but I'm also going to do 10 squared, which is 10 times 10. That's how many pages she needs to read. And this is how many pages she reads on average. So is she going to be reading enough in the six days? Explain why or why not. Okay, this one says, explain how using basic facts can help you find one times 20 times three times four mentally. Okay, you're going to explain that we multiply basic facts. If I do one times two and then two times three and then three times four, I can easily, I can write the basic fact and then I can figure out how many zeros go at the end. So you're going to explain that, that if you multiply basic facts and then count your zeros, that that helps you to get the answer. All right, and this one, fill in the blank with the correct term or number to complete the sentence. Numbers like 10, 100, 1000, and so on are called Okay, I don't think I told you this today in class, so I will tell you now. They are called powers of 10. Okay, and when we're doing, like when we do 
10 to the third power, 10 to the fourth power. That's what we're talking about. Um, how many how many zeros basically is in that number? It's a power of 10. 10 times more, 10 times more, 10 times more. Okay, and number 11, you'll do on your own. A music store sold 10 to the third power CDs and 10 to the second power CD players. If each CD cost $12 and each CD player cost $35, what was the to store's total earnings? Here's my CDs. And here's CDs, so these are going to go together. I'll multiply those together. Then here's my CD players and my CD players. I'll need to multiply those together and then do the total. I'll need to add them together to find out what the store's earnings are. Thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.